The iconic South African businessman has died at the age of 99. He is, of course, known as the father of black retail in South Africa, and uh, he is uh, the person responsible for the development of the iconic, equally iconic Maponya Mall in Soweto. And uh, for more on the story, uh, we are joined now by family spokesperson, uh, Mr. Uh, Mandla Sibego, uh, just to uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, the situation and the conditions surrounding the death of Mr. Maponya. Mr. Sibego, good morning. Thanks for speaking to us here on Morning Live. And first off, our condolences to you and, of course, the Maponya family. Thank you very much for that. Um, we understand that uh, Mr. Maponya uh, passed on in the early hours of this morning. Can you just uh, give us a little bit more detail around that? Yes, um, Dr. Maponya had just celebrated his 99th birthday surrounded by his family on the 24th of December. Um, and the family is quite sad uh, of his passing in the early hours of this morning. Um, he was taken into hospital and he, he took ill and, and passed away. Uh, he was surrounded by his family and he was um, an inspiration to his family, uh, an inspiration to the nation. As you know, uh, many of us who are black, who grew up um, during apartheid, were inspired by the the work that he was doing uh, already then. Indeed we were, and uh, I think especially for Sowetans, even though Mr. Maponya was born in Zanin, um, you know, uh, he, he really made his mark in uh, Soweto, and one remembers back in the day when it wasn't a common occurrence, you had uh, the Maponya Center there in, in Dube, I think it is. Uh, that that yeah. was just absolutely iconic. Yeah, he, he was absolutely an iconic man. He worked very closely with his wife. As you know, he started his business in Baya with the late Mrs. Marina Maponya, who was also an, an active businesswoman um, during a very difficult time. Both of them were also activists, um, and, and both Dr. Maponya and Mrs. Marina Maponya were very involved in supporting the anti-apartheid movement, and um, so they both, they built, he built his business during a very difficult time. And um, it is one of the few black owned businesses. And he stood out throughout his life as an inspiration, as an iconic inspiration for young black people. Um, and he still worked every day. He woke up every day and went to the office. He'd always said that uh, there's no such a thing as retirement. Uh, retirement will be when finally he rests and this is exactly how he passed away and and, and speaking of his passion for young people uh, he was of course very concerned i remember seeing sometime last year still um, uh, some um, articles where uh, he was interviewed where he spoke about the plight of young people the unemployment situation and talking about i think he wanted to set up some sort of school uh, that would help yes. young people train them and you know uh, get them geared towards starting their own businesses Yes, Dr. Mabonyo was, um, and obviously Soweto was his heart. That's where Soweto made him. And he, he always thanked the people of Soweto. And he always said that even at 99 years old, uh, when the family gathered to celebrate his birthday, he always said that without the Sowetans, he would not be where he was today. He was humble and, um, and always honored the people of Soweto. And he felt... Um, he was very concerned about the unemployment rate in South Africa. He, uh, as a 99-year-old who'd grown up during different decades, during a very difficult time, post, uh, before, and uh, 1994, he'd seen the plight of young people during the, the 76 uh, uprising. He was there, saw that um, um, how young people were affected, and then he had hoped that after 1994, that we would start to, uh, young people would start to get breaks. And he was very concerned and really wanted to, at 99, year, at 99 years old, to find solutions to help young people. He traveled a couple of years ago with, um, with the president to uh, Brazil. He saw what they had done in Brazil, and he was in, uh, inspired by what was, what that was done in Brazil, and he wanted to set up a very similar thing where he could give young people skills. His big thing was that, um, we needed to find ways in which we could make young people skilled in South Africa so they can be employable.
Mm. And and we often say this, that as South Africans, we uh, tend not to revere our heroes and heroines while they are alive. Uh, but I do remember the president saying that, you know, we need to go and take the time to study um, someone uh, like uh, Dr. Richard Maponya and the work that he did. Uh, what can you tell us about, you know, his legacy that he leaves behind? I mean, the footprints are all over Soweto. You you talk about the Maponya Mall. You talk about various other dealerships of, and establishments across that particular townships. But uh, how, how do we remember him? I think he will be remembered as, um, as a, a black, iconic businessman who um, persevered. And as you know... He um, held to the land that he owned in Soweto to build them all. And the apartheid government refused for him. Um, as you know, black people couldn't own businesses. Uh, he persevered and fought against the system throughout his life and managed to hold on to his property. Over 30 years, he held on to his property and finally opened his mall after 1994. And, and, and he was very close to the former president, Nelson Mandela, and he'd wanted him to be there at the mall when it opens. And of course, um, uh, Nelson Mandela was there to open the mall. So for us um, and for many young people, he's an inspiration that you, you can persevere in life. And he was very hands-on in his businesses. He was active. Um, of lately, he had set up a chicken business of which um, he was very active in it himself and worked very closely with his family. But uh, more than anything, he was a humble man. He was a very humble businessman who always, um, wherever he was in public, he'd, or anybody would stop him and he would talk and he would engage and he would find solutions. Well, uh, Mr. Sibego, thank you so much for your time this morning and our condolences once again to you and the Maponya family. And um, that uh, was Mr. Sibego, uh, Mandla Sibego, talking to us about uh, the life and times of Dr. Richard Maponya, who passed away this morning.